features Craig Bergman, the producer and host of uh, Unfair, the movie about the IRS. I'm the producer, narrator, writer. Mm, I like that. The guy there with the go. brains. There you go. Uh, I'm a little mini Dinesh D'Souza. Uh, okay, excellent. I interviewed uh, D'Souza uh, in CPAC about two years ago. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so. We're here with Craig Bergman. He has produced a great movie called Unfair. It's about the IRS. He's the director, the brains behind the movie, the writer, the uh, host. So he can tell us uh, about this movie, uh, a movie that I thought needed to be made uh, about the unfairness and uh, all the evils that the IRS has committed. So thank you for doing the interview. You're quite welcome. I'm just going to clarify one point up front. Uh, Judd Saul, my partner, is the director. He handles the camera, makes everything look I beautiful. Got it, I got it, I got it. I'm the producer and writer, so I created the story. So okay. I like to give him his credit. Yeah, well, uh, that's what I meant. And yes. Anyway, I want to congratulate you on the movie. You want Thank to you. tell us uh, uh, the essence of the movie? Uh, and what your solution would be after you uh, tell me what are the problems, sure. what the solution is. Well, I think everyone knows the IRS is a corrupt entity, but I don't think they know how corrupt it is. And so what we wanted to do is set out with this movie is make the moral case against the income tax. Make the moral case against the IRS. This isn't about economics. It's not about are we taxed too much, are we taxed too little, is it kinder, gentler. No, when you look at a system of taxation that in principle, even if it was managed by angels on high that violated your First Amendment rights of association, your Fourth Amendment rights, papers and facts, your Fifth Amendment right to self-incrimination, your Seventh Amendment rights to a trial by jury, and your Eighth Amendment rights to be innocent until you are proven guilty in a court of law, you deal with the IRS, those five Bill of Rights are out the window. Okay? There are entire groups and movements that exist to protect one of the Bill of Rights. Excellent so, point. Uh, in other words, the IRS is in conflict with our Bill of Rights. So well, the, yeah, say, by its very existence. The way they operate, they're violating our Constitution. Yes. And you have some uh, uh, egregious examples of this in your movie, I'm sure. We do. We, <laughs> it's more than just the Tea Party. That's what we say. It's more than just conservative groups. It's churches, it's families, it's Jewish groups, it's foreign policy. It's, it's supposed to just exist to collect fair taxes. Equally, blind justice for all. But that's not what it does. The operators and administrators and bureaucrats in there are blatantly partisan. They target and harass conservative groups. And I'll even be frank with this one, okay? Even in the midst of all this, with their hard drives being lost and dog-eating the homework nonsense, what you have is they just the other week sent Breitbart an audit. Okay, I mean, come on. What money laundering possible scam of cheating uh, what, what this organization is going to try to cheat on their taxes no anybody who opposes them uh, risks the wrath of the irs and everybody's afraid of that yeah but think about that the wrath of That's a why government I that agency word. and fear okay do you know what agency had wrath and fear most famous in in history the gestapo right okay the secret state police they could come into your home in the middle of the night. They could seize your property. They could put you on a train and send you to a gulag. That's exactly. what the IRS can do. They can come in and seize your property, freeze your bank accounts without a trial. And they can tie it up for years because they're not charging you criminally, it's just administrative. So they the, don't want you to launder any more money and they have, you know, they think you might be doing that so they're going to check your, well, how do you pay your attorney with your bank accounts frozen? How do you continue to pay your mortgage and put your kids through college? I mean, your whole life is ended. Guilty uh, until proven innocent. Yeah, until you pay to prove yourself innocent <laughs> with no resources. Right. So Un-American. Uh, the solution uh, seems rather simple, derogate the income tax law and get rid of uh, personal income tax. Yeah, it's an abolitionist movement. If you look at every movement in history, whether you're talking about slavery or abortion or the income tax or the Nazis or communists, you don't want fewer Nazis. You want no Nazis. You want to make it so impossible that the concept 
dies, all except for a bunch of weird, crazy people that you can make fun of in a Bellucci movie. Plus the problem, right, that uh, when everybody has to prepare their income tax, it puts the citizen at odds with his government. And so it's this an adversarial relationship. This creates a, a very bad situation, and, and they have all the cards on their side, the deck stacked. You go in there and you have to prove everything. You can't say you lost your homework. All right. Oh, they were on a hard drive. I, I it crashed. No, well, that that's And not then we had to destroy it. No, well, they'll go. Okay, great. Go into prison. Right. Now, the real thing is, is if you have resources, which is why they freeze your bank account so you can't. But you can fight them because they have no moral standing. Right. Let's if talk you, about that. About if, their moral standing. I mean, I think that's the most important thing you've said. The the principle that. They are initiating physical force against yes. citizens who haven't violated anybody's rights in order to provide uh, goods and services for other people. That's just highway robbery. It is. And that's why I'm a supporter of the fair tax. A Absolutely. national retail sales tax. That's what I was getting to. The because sale, The it, fair tax, yeah. yeah. And so if we, had, if, if we did that, we would simplify everything because everybody doesn't have, doesn't have to waste time doing their taxes. Right. And the businesses, they collect these uh, receipts anyway. Yeah, they already have and it. And so it's, it reduces the size of the IRS no, to no, make no. it a There's no IRS. Well, uh, somebody will have to supervise the The Secretary sales. of the Treasury we'll, can get a report from 50 states on a small Excel spreadsheet. <laughs> okay. Okay, that says, oh, <laughs> Iowa just sent $6.5 million this month. The way it was originally where we collected the money from the states and the federal... Uh, and it worked pretty well for 150 years, yeah. Right, and so that way uh, we simplify everything and everybody doesn't have to waste their time. But more importantly, like you said, all this uh, injustice and unfairness will not occur. It, it goes away. And, and, um, but, you know, I, I, I'm sympathetic to the IRS employees. I don't think we should fire millions or hundreds of thousands or Why however not? many the bureaucrats. No, no. I think all we should do, they're very skilled people. I think what we should do is just change one letter in their name. Change them from the IRS to the INS. Put them down on the border and have them say, papers, please. They're real good at that. Okay. I see. Let's audit everyone that comes in and out of the country. See, see. if they're well, citizens. Uh, anyway. Uh, I wanted to thank you, uh, Greg. Uh, unless you had something more you wanted to add. Uh, the so only thing is... Say something about uh, where the people can see the yes. movie. Unfairmovie.com. You want to go to unfairmovie.com. It is one night only in the theaters, October 14th, 7 p.m. That's 7 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central. It'll roll across the country. It's two hours in your theater, feature-length movie, Tickets are on sale right now. Fathom Events, Fandango, Tickets.com, and our website, Unfair Movie. One click, buy, get your tickets. It's going to sell out. Excellent. Thank you very Thank much you very for the kind. interview.